Hey, so today we're gonna make a creamy carrot bisque. All the ingredients are listed here. And also make sure you go all the way to the end of this presentation. I'll give you some additional ideas of what you can have with this creamy carrot bisque. So before we go any further, let me just tell you really quickly who I am. My name is Tiffany and I am owner of FYI Chef, Feed Your Inner Chef. Um, there are many different roles that I play in this whole food, healthy eating lifestyle. Some of them include intermittent fasting, whole food coach. Um, I do individual personalized meal plans. Gourmet Agusi Granola, I'm a wholesaler. And actually I do seasonal monthly subscription food boxes. My, my credentials include um, American Culinary Federation culinarian. I'm also a collegiate demo chef. Um, I actually hold a health nutrition certificate and am currently pursuing my Bachelor of Science degree in nutrition. This is truly a passion of mine and something that I know is very important um, for all people to really consider about our foods, what we eat, and how it all matters to our overall health when it comes to chronic illnesses. So once you have gotten all your ingredients together and prep them, make sure that you get a large stock pot. You wanna saute your onions until they're very tender, and then you're gonna add your carrots, potato, broth, and ginger. As you see here, you're gonna cook your carrots until they are fork tender. Now, you can either do one of two things once you have the carrots fork tender. If you have a blender, then you have to use small batches and blend those up. The most ideal thing if you have an immersion blender is to blend it right into the actual stock pot. Finally, you have this beautiful creamy delight. And I always like to serve it with my favorite salad or as you can see in the picture here on the right, I actually made some of my favorite rice. In this one, I actually did jasmine rice, sauteed some mushrooms, and actually did some other veggies, added the creamy carrot bisque into it, stuffed it into the bell peppers, and roasted all of them in the oven for probably about 20 minutes until the actual filling was really hot. And of course, the red and yellow bell peppers were nice and soft. All right, y'all check me out on Feed Your Inner Chef. The link is actually below in the lower left-hand corner, fyichef.com slash links for free recipes, for salads and smoothies, and also meal plans to help boost your immune system. Have any questions, please let me know.